What's up guys, it is time once again to jump into another new wave of Super 7 Ultimates and we're going back to TMNT with, with easily my most anticipated wave in a very long time because it features my favorite version of my favorite turtle. We are starting wave 5 of turtles off with Sewer Samurai Leo. Now, being in Ultimates, of course, we still have all the same familiar packaging uh, that we're used to thus far. So, good guy, turtle, gets the green slip cover with the manhole embossed on the front with the samurai uh, sort of head on it, and then the back usually gets a logo, so we get the turtle's logo back there. Pop that slip cover off, of course, and we've got our figure there in the big window with all of his accessories. You've got that green uh, brick motif that we're used to, and then the back of the box gives us a bio for this particular version of Leonardo. So let's do it. Let's pull him out and take a look. And here we go, out of the package, our first variant turtle. We've got our Sewer Samurai Leonardo. Again, my favorite version of Leo, my favorite turtle. So I'm really happy that he is the first variant this time around. We haven't gotten anything else yet. You know, we're getting Space Raph, we're getting that Undercover Raph, uh, but this is the first one in hand, and I am pretty happy about it. I'm pretty happy to take a look at this guy. And there is a lot in this box, like not just from a figure perspective, he has an absolute mountain of accessories. I guess I hadn't really, I guess I hadn't really taken stock of what he comes with. But of course, the main draw for this Leo is, is this look, the overall aesthetics, and of course, you know, toy look. So let's see what he can do, see how he moves around. He's still very Ultimates Turtle, so nothing, no real surprises here. We've got a head that can surprisingly, however, you know, no, I say no real surprises, but this is kind of surprising. We've got a head that can actually look up really good, despite the fact that he has this massive, massive helmet on. And he can look down really nice. So they have definitely, you know, done some work there. Still a little bit of tilt. You've got your full rotation. Arms are going to go out at the shoulders about that far. They go about as far as these pads will let them before everything starts to sort of cinch together. You got your rotation, of course. We've got a bicep swivel up there. We've got our single jointed elbows, and these are at least, if not slightly better than 90. Uh, so they do seem to be a slight bit better than usual. Hinges, rotation at the wrist, pretty good range, despite the fact that this gauntlet cover uh, does come over top of the wrist. It still allows him to go up really, really nicely, especially on these uh, style pose hands. Torso is, well, it's a turtle torso. So you've got two pieces, and of course, like the hips, crotch area is a different piece, and it's sort of situated up into the shell. So there's a little shimmy, and then you've got some tilt there, but it's not, not the greatest thing. It still isn't and probably never will be. Legs out about that far, so looking pretty good there, about, you know, about full splits. Hips seem fine on him. I don't have any issues with him so far. Uh, everything's very, very sturdy, as you can see. He's not moving. Kick forward, you gotta watch these pads, but basically all the way out. Kick backwards a slight bit, you do have your uh, rotation up there. Single jointed knees, unfortunately these do not go back as far as the, as the uh, elbows go. These are not even 90, so that is a definite bummer right there. Uh, and they do not really have much in the way of rotation. There's a little bit of shimmy up there. And then down at those ankles you've got really, really nice rocker, however. Like, that's great. Full movement there. And then you've got really good hinges as well. So, I mean, if anything, I would go so far as to say that this is probably one of the better articulated turtles. Even though he's got this whole thing going on, it still doesn't really get in his way compared to any other turtle in terms of articulation, in terms of movement. And like I noted, legs move really well. And then I've got really, really nice elbows to, to speak of here. Good wrist rotation, good wrist movement. And then of course, I mean, big thing for me is this head. Like some of the turtles don't have the greatest amount of range on the head in one direction or the other, but he's got great on both. He can look up and down really, really well. So I'm pretty happy with this guy. The only thing that, that you could really do to make him that much better would be to somehow figure out a way to, to make them have a real waist twist or some sort of diaphragm cut without, you know, carving up that shell, which I don't want them to do anyway. But ultimately, you know, no pun intended, my, my main focus is and was always going to be with this guy, the look. Because I want him to, to look like that vintage figure. Because, you know, he's my favorite favorite version of my favorite turtle. I always love this, this the idea of this one, and I love the execution. And I'd say they got it. Like, I'd say they really got it. There is a lot of cool stuff going on here. Uh, the big thing for me with this with this figure, with this idea for Leo, was always just 
the colors. Not necessarily the fact that he was a samurai, but the colors on him really, really worked in conjunction with this because it, it's honestly a pretty ridiculous getup. So he's a samurai, but of course it's turtle, so he's going to have these crazy wacky colors. So he's got all this bright blue like underneath the shell. You've got all this bright blue braiding and all this piping all over the armor, this red, and then of course you've got gold. And, and I'll talk about the gold real quick because I know that's going to be a sticking point for folks. I think it turned out all right. I mean, this is about what I expected, really. It's still very metallic. It's still shiny. Uh, there is definitely a gold luster to it. I think it's maybe like one notch, because I don't have a way of measuring this, uh, one notch below Metalhead. He's definitely a little bit shinier. But the vintage figure wasn't super shiny either, nor was it back metal. So I think this is uh, I think this is a pretty happy medium. It's not... It's not too shiny to where it's more shiny than the vintage figure was, but I think it's about the same area. Maybe the colors are a little bit more new gold than, than the vintage figure, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so overall, really happy with the overall presentation and the design, but just all the little details on this figure are really doing it for me. So things like, you know, the cloth uh, quilted suit that he's got underneath, all the wraps, which are all painted, all of this piping on the gauntlets, on the you know the shin armor so you've got this red and the blue and then you've got your very you know telltale samurai style of armor pieces on the legs on the shoulders and then you've got things like all these little bits and bobs the the little silver adornments all over the figure that really make it pop and make that gold stand out a little bit more really one thing i will note I don't know the best way to best place to actually describe it, but when it comes to these hands, because you know the hands are well, these are what he comes with in the box, and I absolutely love these for this particular figure. They are super super hard to get out, uh, so I'll urge some caution now and when we talk about accessories. When it comes to taking these out, they are super super tough to get out of there. But otherwise. I think the figure is pretty rock solid. He's got the crazy belt. So, you know, the vintage figure had like a bunch of belt loops for stuff that it really didn't have accessories for. So you've got sh uh, spaces for two swords. You've got the spot on the back that you can put the uh, the flagpole thing. I don't know. I'm sure that has a more normal word than flagpole, but the samurai flag that he comes with. So you've got all the places to put all the stuff so you can have a ton of accessories on this guy at any given time. But he's got this head sculpt, you know, and we got to talk about this head sculpt because it's pretty fantastic. You know, the vintage figure was basically like Raphael painted as Leo with a helmet on. That's why he's got the double-sided teeth showing. You have that Raphael aspect of it, but I think this looks pretty tremendous. I'm really, really happy here. Again, I love the shade of blue they've got going here. Uh, we've got that sort of darker green for Leo, but we've got our very you know, stereotypical shogun samurai style of helmet, and I really like this thing on him. You know, again, the entire idea of a Ninja Turtle being a samurai, while it makes no sense, it makes perfect sense, if, if that makes any sense. So there's a ton of detail up here. Just the sculpt is tremendous. Love these black horns on this gold helmet with the red and the silver baubles and all the adornments and everything. You've got even more little sculpted detail up here. And, you know, lastly, you know, let's highlight this shell, too, because there is a lot going on here. This, of course, is a very, very different shell uh, from from anything else we've got. You know, this is basically an entirely new figure. I'm not really sure what, if anything, on this guy is going to be shared between any other figures, because even things like hands and feet are going to be uh, unique to this guy. So he's got a ton, a ton of character, all sorts of very unique, specific things about the vintage figure that I think Super 7 have translated into this Ultimates figure just perfectly. And then as far as accessories go, like I said, this figure is... He's stacked. There is a lot of stuff in here. They're giving us they're giving us multiples of the same thing, but there's a lot of stuff uh, in this package, and it's pretty much all weaponry. So we've got, of course, to start with the alt head sculpt, and this is this of course is Super Seven's spin on this figure, giving us a unique head sculpt that of course did not exist uh, in the vintage line. So this is Leo with like an Oni style uh, mask over his face, which I think is just awesome. The idea behind it I think is tremendous, and the fact that the teeth are gold to match the helmet I think is awesome. You can also see his teeth in there too. Now, so there's a lot of detail in this mask. It's the exact same uh, helmet. It's just got a different thing over top of the mouth. Uh, so it's a whole new head. 
but of course it's got that big big mask there and I think it looks awesome it completely changes the demeanor of the figure too which I, which is which is a big thing for me now beyond that we do get uh, some hands so we've got these uh, style posy hands on him in the box we get three extra sets and like I said these hands are really really difficult to swap I don't think it's a problem with the hands I think it's it's the uh, the actual joint itself not necessarily the hand but but the peg uh, the pegs do seem to be slightly different they're not exactly bigger but they have these two nubs which they seem to be part of the problem so beyond that just heat it up we've got style pose gripping ish kind of hands we get a set of fists, and his hands are all unique, too, because they've got this sort of, uh, you know, guard over top. So these are all unique to this figure. And then we have a set of gripping hands. These are, unfortunately, horizontal, uh, lateral gripping. I kind of wish they were vertical, but I can make do with that. Because he does have a lot of stuff to hold, too, also. So to start with, we've got uh, some swords. And he actually has four different swords, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But the vintage figure had a lot of storage for swords. There were, there's a way to hold a sword, you can put a sword on his back, and then he had belt loops for swords, which of course this figure does have in a more normal spot. So to start with, we get uh, this short sword, and all of the, the hilts and everything are green because the vintage figure's accessories were all green. I believe that's what they're going for here anyway. That's why they're not blue for Leo. So you've got a short sword, and then we've got three long swords so we've got one two three of these they're just this you know they're just longer versions of this so you've got four swords here and one of those can be stored in the sheath that can wrap around his back and unlike the vintage figure which had a very hard plastic loop this is like a bungee cord which i think works pretty pretty nicely that's a that's a good idea i'm on board for that we get a couple of uh, shokus so you can use these with his gripping hand. These are those clawed weapons. We get three throwing daggers. And we get two new shurikens done up in silver. We get the shield for Sewer Samurai Leo. And this just has a bunch of that red and green and the blue and the gold accents just to kind of match his armor a little bit. So I really like this. The vintage one is unpainted, so they're going off the, off the cuff on this to to best match it to his armor. And I think it I think it works pretty well. And then he also comes with a slice of pizza, and this one has uh, an anchovies on it that are done up in sort of like a metallic-y blue. So I do like this something a little bit different and unique. Now, he does have two other accessories that are really, really weird just for what they are. So the first one is the sort of flag thing. <laughs> I guess that's what you're supposed to call it. And it says Sewer Samurai. I do think there might be a printing issue here because this is way, way, way over on the right, very right aligned versus this side, which is very much in the middle. I'm not sure if that was on purpose or not, but it works. It's a fabric piece. It's soft goods. And then this can go... Uh, in the loop on his back and you know he can there we go I'm a sewer samurai whatever the point of that is in terms of this figure it's a very goofy vintage uh, holdover and I'm happy that they included it but they also include a weapons rack and I'm pretty sure this version of Leo didn't even include one so we've got one of these again and it has it has two swords three daggers two shokus and the shuriken so it doesn't have it's not an entire representation but it but it's pretty close and you know again this was actually meant to be a rack you can kind of find a, a sweet spot and get it to stand up on its own and you were supposed to store your weapons on it uh, if people ever actually did that so he has a lot of stuff I, I think I've made that clear with a rambling of all the stuff that he comes with but a lot of different weapons you can have so much stuff on on this figure uh, it's pretty wild you can have all four swords on him at any, any given time if if you truly needed to do that and then of course he's got the crazy flag he's got the awesome head sculpt and the always exciting vintage callback uh, weapon track or sprue so overall i am very very happy with this new figure again i'm biased for two reasons i love leonardo and this was one of my favorite vintage figures you know favorite version of my favorite turtle Expectations are high, but I'm really pleased with this finished product. We get so much stuff in this box. Again, this figure is essentially brand new. I don't really think there's anything shared between the regular Leonardo. It's an entirely different figure. Tons and tons of great detail. Love the gold. Love that new head sculpt. Love the original vintage style head sculpt. I love the fact that they included the goofy flag thing. And then literally an arsenal 
of weapons. There's just so much to, to dig into on this figure in particular. My only real gripe, I think, is that the hands definitely do have something going on that is making them to be very, very difficult to swap. Just don't stress it, heat it up, and it'll come out just fine. I had no issues after I did that. So that's going to do it for this look at the Super 7 Ultimates TMNT Wave 5 Sewer Samurai Leonardo. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.